Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce RTX 3060 Ti in Call of Duty Vanguard Beta. We're playing it using the latest NVIDIA drivers at the time of recording this video, which are 471.96. This one is the Founders Edition of the card. I'm not overclocking it, as you can see right here. And I'm running it using a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigs of RAM to avoid any CPU or RAM bottlenecks. So let's get right into it, shall we? Here we go and... As you can see, by the way, I'm not using MSI Afterburner and Rivet Tuner to monitor our FPS and GPU utilizations and stuff because it doesn't work in this game, just like it didn't work in Call of Duty Warzone Season 5 at the beginning of it for some reason. And first of all, let's go through the settings real quick. I'm playing at 1080p resolution. We're also going to test this one at 1440p and 2160p, which is 4K. Uh, these are the settings. We're running the Ultra Settings preset right here. And yes, it doesn't max out every thing. For example, this is on low instead of high, but I'm just going to run the preset in this video. Uh, this is it. As you can see, this one could also go higher. Also, one thing that I'm noticing here in this menu is that uh, it, it looks kind of blurry, you know? It doesn't look very detailed. I'm not sure if that's the 1080p resolution or what, but... Yeah, it doesn't look very good, at least here. I am going to start counting the FPS right now, okay? So it's counting the averages, 1% lows, maximums, minimums, 0.1% lows. Uh, let me know if it's too tiny there in the corner, because I will actually um, resize that in the next few videos, if it is. Uh, but yeah, so far, guys, it's, it's a very smooth experience. As you can see, there's still the double sprint running and stuff. You guys are probably familiar with it already because you probably saw a few videos on this game already. I didn't. I didn't see anything about... Oh my god, what the hell? Look at that. Look at those shadows right there. All right, so they still have a few things to fix, definitely. It's still a beta, of course, so there's no problems there, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, just, just pointing it out. Maybe if they watch this video, they will fix those things faster. I don't know. That's a very similar shadow bug to what we saw in Call of Duty Warzone in Kepler GPUs. But of course, this isn't a Kepler GPU. And uh, yeah, bugs like that should have no place in the actual game when it releases all right so far it's running flawlessly guys you can see the one percent lows at 110 frames per second zero stutters to speak of it's so so smooth here on the 3060 ti it's just amazing guys it's really really nice oh my god it's classic call of duty as well everybody just running around the map and killing each other it's team deathmatch anyway okay got him got him got him got him all right so gotta get the hang of this this is the the first time that I'm playing it, by the way, so yeah, don't expect very nice gameplay uh, for now, well, although we're actually doing this. <laughs> All right, there we go. That was a quad kill. Never mind, guys. Forget everything that I said. What the hell was that, by the way? All right, that was like, yeah, that was the UAV. The overlay is actually on top of the, the thing. Oh my god. Yeah, we're losing pretty hard here, considering that... Our team is the losing team. I don't think we're doing too bad today, guys. By the way, CPU temperatures and GPU temperature... Uh, actually, GPU is, is, is fine. It's completely fine. But the CPU temperatures might seem a little bit high to you. It's just because it's like 30 degrees Celsius in my room right now. It's very, very hot. I don't like it whatsoever. And I will be sweating bullets in, in just a little bit, you know. <laughs> but anyway, performance is amazing at 1080p, as expected, probably, you know. Game looks decent, although a little bit smooth. The graphics around the edges and stuff, but that could be the 1080p resolution coupled with the uh, filmic... SMAA T2X thingy that they got going on in the anti-aliasing side of things. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not too bad, you know. I, I, if, if I was running a 1080p monitor, native 1080p, I think it would look great. It's just that I'm running it on a 1440p 32 inches monitor, so... Yeah, things are not really that sharp. Alright, there we go. Whoa, 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 what the... <laughs> I like that there are zero stutters. The game is actually really well optimized. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I got a pistol as well. Let's try out the pistol. 
Ooh, that's that's insane, actually. <laughs> I think I was just camping there. But. So we got 133 frames per second on average, 1% loss of 94. Very smooth indeed. I'm not sure about GPU utilization. Didn't really take a, a good look at it throughout this video, but you guys can see it. Oh, we didn't finish first. That's a shame. Okay, I lost it by the end of it. Didn't kill anybody else. We're gonna try out the 1440p resolution now. Everything is still at the ultra settings preset, of course, and as you can see, it's still pretty blurry to me, isn't it, guys? Very soft and blurry. I'm not sure. It might be depth of field. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What the hell? That looks totally unrealistic, but I kind of love lens flares. Maybe that's just a little bit too much. I'd... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's reflecting off our... Uh, mask gas mask or something like that you know uh, i just started counting the fps by the way and uh wow this map is way more beautiful than the other one is that a tank what the hell okay interesting very interesting oh you can't you can't really ride the tank can you yeah you can't so at 1440p things look still a little bit soft but uh if you're running for example a 27 inch monitor as i said i'm running a 32 inch i think it will look sharp um, what is happening though? Where are the enemies? <laughs> what the hell? I guess this map is way too big for a 6v6. The other one we were playing was actually a 10v10 or 12v12 map. And this one is much bigger and it's just 6v6. Very weird, very weird choice for a player count there. But maybe it's just beta things. Maybe they're trying out new things, you know? All right. Let's do this. Let me check out the fire effects. They look okay. They look okay. Um, and maybe this uh, SMG wasn't really the best choice. Oh, time to kill seems to be really fast, though. Wow, look at those. Yeah, it's not ray traced. That's why they disappear once the, the objects are off the screen. But the way they disappear, those little dots or noise, you know, it's very weird. Maybe it's the uh, anti-aliasing once again. Um, wow. Beautiful explosions dropping down into the 60s here. Interesting. Right, it might be the smoke effects there, actually. Coupled with the explosion, at least. Wow, that was really intensive. But overall, it's still a high refresh rate experience, to be honest, guys. I'm just going to pick this up. Thank you very much. And uh, it's way, way smoother than 60 hertz. That's for sure. Got him. Uh, that's a little bit messy there. What the hell is that? Oh, ammo. Thank you so much. You can now drop ammo in Call of Duty for your teammates. That's kind of like Battlefield-ish. <laughs> of course, it has nothing to do with Battlefield, the maps, and... Uh, oh! Oh! More smoke effects right here. 90. They, they actually whistle there. <laughs> what the hell? All right, how do you whistle in this game? No, it's just thumbs up. Okay, interesting. You can climb these things. You know what? There's a little bit more destruction as well in this one. Look at that. That's not normal in Call of Duty titles. I like that. Oh, that's friendly. Great. Oh, come on. Whoa. Whoa. Did you see that FPS drop? They definitely need to optimize the explosions in this one for sure. What the hell? It dropped down into the 30s there. Of course, I was dead. And uh, it was because I think my uh, explosive just exploded in my hand. So very, very close to me. But yeah, that's the second time we've seen explosions making a huge FPS drop. Look at those 1% lows at 30 something. It's going up now because we're, we're continuing playing the game still. But yeah, now this is the uh, Battlefield 5 weapon, I think. The first time that I've seen this one was in Battlefield 5 at least. Oh, come on. All right. I think this map at least needs a little bit of wind sound. Because whenever people stop shooting, as you can hear, th there's nothing happened. There's no atmospheric sound, you know? There's 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 nothing. <laughs> it's very weird, but you look around you and uh, the wind is just uh, blowing everything out of the trees and stuff. All right, this weapon's actually really nice. I like it. Oh, 
All right, got him. 1440p experience is still pretty good. It's to be expected, to be honest, because this is basically a 2080 Super. It's actually slightly faster than 2080 Super. I really think the sweet spot for this card is 1440p gaming at the moment, in 2021 at least. Really curious to see what it can do in in uh, Battlefield as well. Let's go down here. I, haven't, I, I have been here, actually. Okay, okay, let's just reload. I don't have more bullets. I need bullets. Bullets, friends. Okay, got him. Let's grab his weapon. Oh, come on. The animations need to be quicker. Oh, we had a sniper rifle here, actually. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's that's actually very satisfying, guys. Okay. The, the scope looks great as well. Like, when you start the animation of zooming in, you can see the scope actually scoping in. It's very interesting. like that. I like that. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the quick scopes ain't happening, guys. I never knew how to do that. You know what? I am actually enjoying my time here in Call of Duty. Vanguard. You know, it's, it's a classic, classic Call of Duty experience. Uh, it's super smooth. I really like the performance of it. And, uh, yeah. We're getting a very well-optimized Call of Duty title, I think, in my opinion. They just need to work in those uh, explosions and stuff. I still need to test it out in, like, a 1050 Ti. I think that's gonna be the next video. But yeah, so far, in terms of stuttering issues and stuff like that, it is actually pretty damn good. You know, I like it. And finally, let's test it out at the 4K resolution. Here we go. You can't disable the anti-aliasing. That's super weird. I'm gonna set it to the lower option then, but yeah, kind of weird that you can disable it. Eh, it still looks blurry, even at 4K. <laughs> All right, let's go with the Tommy gun. Okay, over here we actually do get all right FPS, not in the 30s anymore. No, okay, got him. Oof, that was a little bit of a slowdown right there, but you know what? I guess it's still playable, and if you lower the settings, it might be even better, of course. It, it will be. I said it might, but it will definitely be a lot better, obviously. Uh, all right, let's... Uh, what the... What are you doing, guys? Got him. More of them or no? Where are you, enemy guys? Come on. Get over here. There's one there. Not gonna camp, obviously. Yeah. That's what happens. Maybe I should have camped. <laughs> I feel like the Tommy gun doesn't really pack much of a punch in this one. It feels like a, a, an MG or something with low low damage and high fire rate, for sure. This weapon is that. Now, of course, this is not really a very competitive experience anymore. We're getting 49 FPS on average after all. It, uh, it slows down every time a guy's very close to you and you're shooting them for some reason. I feel the slowdowns at least. Maybe it's just the low FPS, but yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, okay. It dropped down into the 30s there as well. It's whenever you shoot, basically. Interesting. What the hell is that? All right. All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, no. But you know what, guys? It's actually still pretty okay. I... I could still play like this. As you can see, I'm playing the game. We got 10 kills already. We're not the worst uh, guy in our server. <sighs> Sometimes it's hard to play with low FPS, of course. It's definitely harder than with high FPS, but it's still doable. If you just want to enjoy the graphics on a 4K monitor and play at uh, high resolution, Oh my god, this is not too bad of an experience, but again, I really think this card shines at 1440p. Uh, it can do a little bit of 4K, as you could see there. It's still enjoyable, not really great, you know, but still enjoyable. So that's been it. I will test this game again on 3060 Ti when it comes out, maybe using some low settings as well at the three resolutions. So stay tuned in for that and of course for the next videos testing other GPUs. They will come out at a very fast rate or pace during this week. And as always, love you all. Bye-bye.